remade every mob into Zelda characters in Minecraft. We'll take this piglin brute and turn him into the beefy Ganondorf. He'll need his bushy orange hair and beard. Add on that mystical robe. Pack on two burly arms like the strong Gerudo he is. We can't forget his two katanas from Wind Waker. Oh yeah, he's looking as mean as ever. Hey Ganondorf, where are you headed to? Ah, there's some villagers in here. Oh, hold on a second. Ganondorf just exploded in a fiery breath of doom. Escape while you still can. Oh golly, that was gruesome. Oh, hey, this guy survived. How did you, oh no, Ganondorf's coming with a vengeance. Oh, yikes. For Zelda, we'll start with a magical witch. Let's turn the witch's hat into Zelda's golden blonde hair. Gotta include the elf ears. All right, let's shape up this hair a bit. She is a princess, so we'll need to add her tiara. Now we'll put her in her iconic white and purple dress. But Zelda, you've got no weapon to fight with. Not to worry, she's got fire. Oh, she's charging these vindicators fearlessly. Oh, golly, buddy, this is about to be the end of your life. We'll turn this chill stray into our cool hero Link. Slap some blue on him to make him his breath of the wild tunic. The elf boy has to have his elf ears. Make sure he's got his belt for all those adventurous needs. And to finish it all off, the Master Sword. Our courageous hero is here. Get over here and help out Zelda. Oh, I guess actually maybe Zelda doesn't need any help. Oh boy, there's an army of indicators. Link's cornering one, keeping him stuck with spaces so he can't go anywhere. This multi-demolishing slash of death. Boom, 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 boom. These two look pretty magical and pretty strong. But can these two take down Ganondorf? Good luck, guys. Looks like Ganondorf is coming with a vengeance right away with that first hit. But the stasis from Link has got him locked in place. Another stasis. They've only got him down like 10% so far, and this has been intense. Looks like Link is doing his best, but the explosion. Ah! Oh, no. She's burning. All you're doing is making Ganondorf angry. Ganondorf launches another ball of purple death. Oh, boy, both of them this time. They've actually almost got him to 50%. This could be massive. Oh, never mind. Link, have courage, Zelda. Have courage. I think this wolf is the perfect canine to make Wolf Link and Midna. First off, we're going to have to make him way bigger. Now it's time to give him that beautiful fur coat. This pup is starting to become a real wolf. We'll have to make sure it still has Link's eyes. Now it's time to make Midna on top. These two look ready to take on anything. Let's see what these folks can do. There's a bite. There must be some sharp teeth inside of that snout. Oh, and a charge. Leaving him bleeding and that looked painful. Here comes another charge. And down he goes. We'll turn this spider into the miniature guardian, Terrico. First, let's make the model more vertical. Add in its blue eye core. Surround it with that metallic base. Now create those robot legs. Finally, make sure he has his guardian weapons on the ends of his arms. Oh yeah! Terrico is a mean, clean fighting machine. Now this fellow looks mighty cute, but everybody knows that is dangerous. But the truly beautiful thing about Terrico is not the model. It's the red laser beam of doom that leads to death. As you can see, it does a whole lot, a lot of damage. Loving what I'm seeing here, buddy. Keep it up. Let's turn this mummified husk into the mysterious Sheik. Sheik has these red eyes and blonde hair hidden under the disguise. Add on the Sheikah symbol on the chest, and Sheik is just about ready to go, but we're missing something. Of course, we can't forget the mask. Sheik is undercover after all, but I know your secret, Sheik. Can you believe these two are the same thing? Zelda, Sheik, Sheik is Zelda. And that harp is gonna need to perform something drastically, immaculately amazing. Oh, there goes a punch. All right, there goes another punch. Oh, the music. Oh my golly. Actually confused every piglin in the area. Everybody's running around randomly or dancing. They're learning to tango. Oh my gosh, and the tango killed them. Time to turn this skeleton into Toon Link. You know, the Link. But cartoon, he's gonna have really big green eyes and elf ears. Slap on bright blonde hair. Toon Link is always wearing his iconic green tunic. And of course, his Wind Waker. Now this is the classic Link that I love. Your wee little sword. Wait a second, that's not a sword. That's his Wind Waker. And Link can use it as a conducting baton, controlling the wind, sending mobs floating ever so slowly. Oh, and now he falls. Another piglin joining us in the heavens. Not for long, though. Goodbye. I think Creeper is a perfect fit for the little creepy-looking guy in green.
Tingle. Of course, let's make him more human shaped to fit in that green suit. Add on those rosy cheeks and big nose. And the goatee as a finishing touch. This gnome looks so peaceful. We just had to make sure Tingle can last on his own. So he's able to use a balloon to float out of the way of danger. Ooh, it's not gonna work so good with this crossbow, though. Oh my goodness, that fist did a lot of damage. I'm sorry I underestimated you. Oh my gosh. Tingle, no! <laughs> Time to turn this Iron Golem into the super strong Darunia. We need to make his body more Goron-like. Give him those beautiful purple eyes. This big dude has a big beard. And for the final touch, the giant hammer. This massive hammer is gonna be far better than a fist. That's the piglin that took down Tingle. I can tell you're feeling vengeful. Walk over there and smack him loose. <laughs> right away. We can get him completely surrounded. Everybody's gonna get hit all at once. Boom! This war zone is quickly turning into a massive graveyard. What if we sent like 50 different piglins down in this hole here? Vengeful and decisive. Now we're turning a bat into the annoying Navi. Stretch out the body to make a blue circle. Yeah, I know it's a square. We'll take these bat wings and turn them into fairy wings. Let's see if Navi can be any use to the rest of the heroes. Look at how serene and peaceful, but a little bit caffeinated. You look oh. a little bit weak. What? What'd you say? Oh. What? Oh my goodness gracious. Eat some piglins. Come on, Navi, you're not doing anything. All right, Navi, just being annoying. Only one thing for you. Fiery pit of death, locked in by bedrock. Don't tell me I can still hear you down there. Oh my gosh! I need to get as far away as possible! Now we're gonna use this evoker to make Skull Kid. Start by retexturing his body, add on his pointy red shoes, rate his crazy mask, and the finishing touches. Skull Kid is looking amazing! Without a doubt, the most colorful model of all. That mask is looking mighty sweet. Skull Kid floats up in the air, can teleport around so quickly, sneak up behind mobs, and knock them with a slashing attack that takes out about half of the guts inside of these guys. Means two hits, and then they're wiped for good. Bring it back to the scene of the last crime to have our revenge on Ganondorf. Oh, Wolf Link and Mint are the first to go at it. Ganondorf is backed up to the backside of this mansion oh. right here. Hopefully they can keep him spinning and stuck. This is getting hectic very quickly. All I can hear oh. is Navi screaming oh. in my oh. ear. We're listening, Navi. Please do something else. They've already got Ganondorf down 25% though. That is a solid start. It's a massive, massive dance party. Oh, here here comes another blue shocking beam, bam, right to the belly. They have got Ganondorf two thirds down, only one third left, and hope is nearly lost for this evil man. Oh, he might land an explosion here, but before he can get it off, he's floated back up into the sky. This is about it, and the last hit comes in. Boom! Ganondorf knocked the sound of sweet revenge. Oh, oh no, Navi survived!